Okay, so it's just uh, it's a tiny patch. Uh, oh god. Common rage art heat burst fixed an issue where in specific situations opponents were able to move during the time freeze animation before the activation of rage arts or heat burst. Oh, oh that was the crouch throw bug. I think IMOP made a video on this, but I happen to see. Common tornado. In version 10301, adjustments were made to the collision detection between characters and walls to address the issue of slipping through opponents and whiffing when performing a rage art after executing a tornado near a wall. However, as a result, certain existing combos became inconsistent, therefore we have reverted this adjustment. Oh, really? This fucked up a lot of goddamn combos. I just were made to the collision detection between kind of walls to address the issue of slipping through opponents and whiffing when performing a rage after the executing a turn off. Oh, they've, they've completely reverted that. So it goes back to the patch prior. Okay, so all of those combos are going to work again. Yeah, this annoyed me a little bit on Kazia when you did downford 1, downford 2 into Heaven's Gate. But you don't want to do Heaven's Gate anymore anyway because they nerfed the shit out of that combo. So, but, but I know Ali players were tearing their hair out due to this and a lot of other people. Azucena while running free. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> bring it on, motherfuckers. Let's see, what's the buff? Unblockable. Plus 10 on bloke. Double the chip damage. It's now a launcher. I can't wait. As a countermeasure against this attack, we initially implemented balancing adjustments in version 10301 with the assumption of evading sideways and then counterattacking. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, yeah, that worked for me yesterday. I was playing Tekken God Supreme ranks, Kazuya, against an Azucena who's God of Destruction. And I was like, yeah, yeah, come on. You know what happens? I sidewalk while running free too. And then I'm, re I I'm gonna punish with Devil Fist because that's the only move that will reach. But do you know what happens when I, when I sidestep that move and uh, do Devil Fist? The camera switches positions. This, hap this is RNG. Happens like 30% of the times you, you sidestep while running, while running free 2. The new enhanced while running free 2. It side swaps, so my devil fist turns into a back 2. Because remember, the camera swapped orientation. So I do a back 2, he turns around and down for 2 launches me. That's when I went like... Like this. Like, it's, it's so stupid. Uh, however, due to the current difficulty in executing counterattacks, you don't say! We have made the following additional adjustments. The recovery frames have been increased by 5 frames, so that's on Azucena. The forward movement distance after the end of the attack duration has been reduced. Okay, so when we step it, she's still going to do the knee. She's going to travel less she's not gonna go to africa she might go to egypt now but she'll stay in egypt so that's nor that's northern africa but that's still africa but she's at least not in south africa anymore or kenya okay that's good though that's good stops in kenya um and five frames more of recovery five frames more of recovery so th this is very very good but I'm just like, why wasn't that there from the start? Are you, are you actually testing this shit before you patch? Because in my opinion, you just come off looking stupid when you release a game and people complain about that while running free 2 forever because I was just saying I was in the goddamn beta. We complain about a broken move forever and then you release a patch and it's actually a buff. You look so dumb, and it's completely needless. Just test the shit before you implement it. 
I mean, I don't want to sound super negative, but it's just like... Why look so stupid? Just test it instead, and then we see if it works or not. But thank you for the, for the hot fix. Thank you for this fix. Really, because my god, if that had stayed. Or stayed until May, you know. Eddie, the ability to activate heat dash despite whiffing in specific circumstances has been corrected. Oh, he could heat dash on whiff. I didn't even know. The behavior of the opponent when heat dash was activated under certain circumstances and deviated from expectations has been corrected. Back dash, back dash. Back dash. Oh, there's a lot of changes on back dash. The input window has been adjusted to mitigate the occurrence of unintended dashes or back dashes. Uh, due to animation de data changes, backdash distance was shorter than expected. So this was reverted to its version 10201 state. Oh, oh, Zafina got her backdash fixed as well. Oh, right! Uh, I, I never saw this with my own eyes, but I heard from Zafina players that her backdash was gone with this patch. She couldn't, almost couldn't backdash anymore. Due to animation da data, changes data, a uh, backdash distance was shorter than expected, so this was reverted. Okay. So Zafina can backdash again. This just seems like a bug fix on Eddie. Um, no additional changes to Eddie. Nothing really needs tuning down. I mean, he's still so fresh out of the gate, so we don't know, but I, I don't feel like they need to change anything with Eddie right now. It, se it seems fine to me. He's as obnoxious as ever. But if you know the matchup, he's fair. And that's what it looks like, at least, to me right now. Uh, but so this was very, very good. Thank God. I wish they would revert the, the Lars change as well, because that, you're just dumbing down your game. You're turning it into Street Fighter. We should be playing Tekken. That Lars change is pretty much as stupid as the Azucena change. The only difference is that Azucena is god tier, and this was the best move in the game. And this was the best move in the game. Uh, so, uh, I don't know. You, you just see Azucena way more, right? Because she's god mode. But Lars is just as unga bunga not playing Tekken. It's just that he's not as strong as Azucena. That's the only thing. So, I, I hope they change the... I hate the Lars change as well. Please remove it. Please remove it. Um, but this is good, and thank God for this. Well, do we know when this goes live? I hope it's soon, so I can actually- Oh my God, I'm gonna live in a world soon, where I can punish Azusena while learning free too. I'm soon going to live in a world where that happens. Oh, it's on the April 16th. April 16th, so five more days. Five more days. But again, I, I have big hopes for the May patch. Big hopes for the May patch, and that it it fixes a lot of the issues this game has. But, uh... I gotta say, I really appreciate this. I just wish they would, would have tested a little bit before... ...the changes. Um... But I just have to say, though, that... ...with what they did to Lars, I'm wondering how much... ...how much is, like, incompetence. Like, I think we've done a decent enough job with the balancing of Tekken 8. When, when you look at... I, I don't want to keep nagging about this, but it, it's just like Tekken 7. Like, when you look at A, A, B, C tiers, it's like, it's okay. But it's always these fucking S tiers that are so stupid. And in Tekken 8, we're even worse because there's no counterplay. You might as well be playing... St like, Dragunov, he turns it into a 2D... Dragunov... Like, for those of you who miss Akuma, just play Dragunov. He turns it into a 2D game. Homing 11 frame startup throw, hatchet that tracks like crazy. You can, and he locks you down, you're minus 7, a any interaction you have with him. Be it sneak 4, while running 2, blizzard hammer, you're minus 7. Or you eat a hatchet, you're minus 7. You can't move, you just, you're, you're, I feel like I'm playing Street Fighter. Same with Alisa, you need hard reads. Same with Lars. Same with Azucena. Like, that shit has to go, man. Or, or June. You know, um... 
So yeah, I I, re I really hope they fix all of this in May. Would be beautiful because Tekken 8 could be the best fighting game ever. It really could. So I I just hope they they realize what they have and they listen a little bit to to us. I'm not saying me in particular. I mean, I feel like we're all saying the same thing. Like just take Dragon of Down a notch and all all of those other characters that you you feel you aren't really playing Tekken anymore. You're just playing something else, you know, when you're defending at least, you know, nothing you can do. Uh, but good news.